السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل فرینڈس ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس پل اپ اور پل ڈاؤن ریزسٹر وین وی سی اینی لاجک سرکٹ ڈیجیٹل سرکٹ اینی مائکرو کنٹرولر بیسڈ سرکٹ سم ریزسٹرز آر کنیکٹڈ بٹوین مائکرو کنٹرولر پنس اینڈ وی سی سی اینڈ سم پنس آر کنیکٹڈ ٹو ٹو گراؤنڈ Although these are input pins, the question why we use these resistors to hook up with the pins, input pins, programmable input pins. For example, if I want to give a signal, here is a sensor. One line is connected to ground. Second pole of the switch is connected to microcontroller. Or we can say, I have a switch here. It is connected to positive voltage now our question is this why we are not directly connecting these pins to the microcontroller mcu or any digital circuit what is the reason behind this let's discuss the first condition if this end is connected ground vcc here we have mcu if i will close this switch it will apply voltage to microcontroller pin or any logic gate or any IC input pin. If I will connect this pin, it will connect directly ground line to the microcontroller. That's okay, but no. This is not recommended condition. Why? When we apply VCC voltage to a switch, to a through a sensor to microcontroller, it will work okay the current will flow positive voltage will apply to this pin it will work if i will connect negative line ground line through this switch it will work it's okay but when i will open this switch in microcontroller because it is very sensitive circuit its tracks wiring on pcb is very close to each other sometime we have multi layer tracks four layer six layer sometimes we have 10 layer tracks there is electromagnetic induction when this track is this pin is open this switch is open from this switch to this microcontroller this pin this track is open there will be a electromagnetic induction which will induce some voltage and it can interrupt this microcontroller and microcontroller can make false switching so this is the reason when we need to connect this signal ground signal this signal will apply directly to microcontroller but whenever i will open this switch this line will pulled up directly to vcc in all electronic circuits there are ripple removal capacitors which are connected between vcc and ground they always eliminate all harmonics all ripples from the power supply so if i want to connect ground it will connect ground and microcontroller will sense that this pin is connected to ground when this pin will remove if we compare this pin now with this pin this pin is now pulled up to vcc and this pin is floating so floating input is not allowed in digital circuits second reason if we check data sheet for ttl ic's for example 7400 7424 in data sheet we see vih these parameters of the ic voltage input high that is called logic high input 2 volt minimum to vcc it is called logic high vih minimum 2 volt up to vcc vil voltage input low maximum 0.8 volt minimum level is 0 volt so low voltage 0 to 0.8 and v input high that is 2 volt to vcc the second parameter is written high input current that is 20 micro ampere low input current that is 
minus 400 microampere this is 0 volt and it is VCC is here it is lower limit 4.75 volt up to 5.25 so it is 0 volt and from this point to this point if we divide it it is 0.8 this is logic level low and if we come to this point from 2 volt from 2 volt to 4.75 or 5 volt or 5.25 volt this window is logic high we are using any logic IC or we are using any any microcontroller so this logical input voltage logic low will consider from 0 to 0.8 from 2 volt to 5 volt it is logic high 0.8 volt to 2 volt this condition if we drive any circuit within this window or if this pin is open and we apply this level of input 0.8 to 2 volt it will make false switching to protect this circuit we need pull up resistor or pull down resistor we can apply positive voltage through a sensor through a switch to microcontroller if you want to collect positive voltage this switch will closed this microcontroller will sense positive line that the input is positive when this input will removed at the same time this pin will hooked up to ground so that microcontroller will not drive in this state or our TTL IC or logic IC CMOS IC will not operate in this window if you want to connect ground in form of any input this line will connect to ground or otherwise when this signal is removed the same time this pin will connect it to VCC pin so that this IC will work free from any EMI, any RFI, any electromagnetic induction or any radio frequency interference. So how we can calculate resistor value? To calculate pull up resistor we know R is equal to V over I. So at this pin the minimum level that is 2 volt maximum is 5, 5 volt VCC minus VIH minimum divided by IIH high input current VCC 5 volt minus 2 volt if we have 20 microampere current it is 150k resistance this amount of current is for 7400 or 74LS00 if we want to use a resistor for any IC we must follow the data sheet to find the IIH input high current now I want to select pull down resistor to calculate pull down resistor so maximum voltage allowed voltage are 0.8 volt VIL maximum minus 0 volt because the lowest level is 0 volt we cannot apply negative voltage to any TTLIC any microcontroller divided by IIL so it is 0.8 minus 0 volt 400 microampere 400 multiplied 10 raised to power minus 6 it is 2k resistor 2 kilo ohm resistance pull up pull down resistor it is used for any TTL any CMOS any microcontroller or any logic circuit if we have any type of gate for example I want to connect LED to output of this gate I connect VCC voltage here so how we can calculate this resistor value VCC whatsoever if we are connecting 5 volt 5 volt if we are connecting 12 volt we have to put the value VCC value here minus VLED minus then we have to see the data sheet what is the lowest amount of output that is called VOL VOL maximum so VOL in this data sheet we have 0.5 volt output voltage in low condition now we are going to connect LED we have to limit the current for this LED ILE so VCC for example we have 5 volt what is the color of LED green red yellow white so we have to check the data sheet for that LED for example I am using red LED 
for red LED I have 1.7 volt or 1.8 volt minus VOL that is 0.5 volt 0.5 volt or 0 volt will consider output low above then this will called out VOH voltage output high so in low logic low output that is 0.5 volt we will minus it from here divided by if I am using 15 milliampere LED 10 raised to power minus 3 so let's calculate it this parameter and this parameter will available in the LED data sheet color and size if we are using 5 mm if I or we are using 3 mm and what is the color so we have to check these values from the LED data sheet 15 milliampere 10 raised to power minus 3 it is 186 ohm if we are using 12 volt in that case the LED resistance will 653 ohms so friends I hope so this video is informative if it is informative give a thumb up if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh